Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within on the Valkyrie playthrough, which still means that we only use female soldiers. Right now, we are on our way to help a dear friend of ours in China. And uh, we welcome in the team Miss Jessica Jones. You might know her from the series, but uh, I've used her as one of my soldiers. And uh, well, let's get on with it with friends in low places. Strike one. Prepare for landing. And there we go. We're so heading Hong Kong, China, China. For the next operation. So this mission is similar to uh, Portent, although a bit more cinematic. You must be my contacts. And you must be a man. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Okay. Thank you, Zhang. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. That's our man. And it looks like he's got the package with him. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. His former employers, not to mention the invaders, will be looking for him. Objective updated. So, we're gonna try and get Ruby a big vantage point first. First, So the big difference with Portent is that the, uh, the enemies are also fixed, so they spawn at the same locations at the same time. The problem is that the spawn rate is not influenced by where Zhang is, but is just timed. So at a certain moment, there's always a certain drop. So let's try and put Ruby a bit closer. Uh, Weiss over here. I think there's one that spawns over here, so Jessica... Might have a nice shot of. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing. But he was taking all the into cover. Bidders, regardless of their intentions. And start putting out our uh, shotgunners a bit closer. Um, Target confirmed. On our way. Heading to that location. So let's keep one of the assaults on Overwatch. And one that gets a bit of distance. But I think there's already two Strike spawning right now. Wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. There we go. So there's the first one. Okay, and a third one. Okay. That's for Tin Man. I don't think it's as scripted as I thought. Damn it. Okay then. Um, no biggie, I suppose. She can shoot that one. Yeah, and do Jessica. In the face. One hit kill. Um, I could of course go for the close and personal shots, but... I'm gonna trigger overwatches if I do that. Try and give Ruby a shot on that one. 90%? Of course, thank you! And now we have 79 and 100 with taxes, and she needs the promotion, so go ahead! Plan 7 damage. Okay, so now put. Uh, Blake in cover, but without poisoning her. Right Twice a bit closer. Good to go. Reload her. With Blake on Overwatch. The job itself seemed trivial. Delivering equipment to a predetermined drop point. Okay, Shang. If you say so. Solid copy. Let's put Ruby a bit higher up. And reload. Oh, yeah. On the move. 
and start making our way along the sides. We're gonna put a few of our soldiers down the middle as well, because most of them spawn around this area. Heading there now. I think there's a few aliens on the map. I think there's one in the middle here, so we need to be careful for that one. But for now, just keep those overwatches going. Over here. Try one more overwatch. And then put her a bit closer as well. She's immune because of the med kit over here. And then Jang just keep your head down. to fear the implications of our involvement. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Okay. I was thinking there wouldn't be, but Okay, that's really close. To Ruby. Okay, apparently... Ah, okay. Take that. Slam! Two shots in the face. Um... I'm gonna move Ruby up even further. Running. Hopefully not tr triggering anything. Nope. Didn't think so. Then put Jessica up That's further. And have her reload because she's almost out of bullets. Uh, put someone over okay. there. And then one on Solid this corner. Up. And carefully make our approach. I'm wondering if I will have sight. I'll probably have if I move too far up. So I'm gonna try and go on the sides. Yeah, just out of reach. And yeah. I've crossed Overwatches. many lives during my life. But now we all face a common enemy. We got one turn. We're free. So let's put Jessica Ready up further. Enemy troops. Yeah, there he is, the tin man. Oh and he take he pulls back. Which is annoying. But I can get to him with a dash. But I would like Texas to do that. Because she's immune to the poison. So let's run and gun. I put her straight in his face. Hopefully not triggering. I don't think there's anything else on the map, which makes this a really weird match, but... There he goes. And we're not poisoned. That poison cloud formed on a really weird spot. Okay, that went over there. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get a move on now, because... There is something spawning really soon, and I do want to avoid getting shot by it. So I might even want to ignore Overwatch just to get closer. Aye, aye. I'm on I do want to keep everyone in full cover. here. Yeah, there we go. And then put... Maybe keep one close to the chest. Just in case there's something spawning behind us, but I don't think so. Might even put Zhang a bit closer, so we can protect him if needed. And Blake, we can still put on the commander. We've got an intermittent. Yeah, contact. there it is. It's something different from the others. That's a dead man, but it's he's talking about something else. And a sectoid. And then we have the big guy. There we go. That was the one I was expecting. 
Oh, okay. Four enemies. It might be that I'm wrong and that he activates enemies based on where I'm positioned and not based on where Zhang is positioned. Which might have made this a bit of a wrong judgment call. She doesn't flank that. She does. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Okay, that's one. We almost need to kill everything in one shot right now. Which is really annoying. Sniper can hit all three of those. Which, of course, I'm gonna try to hit the Newton with a 100% critical shot. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wow! Wow! I was afraid of that one, but not anymore. Um, I might have misjudged using the... the grenade. I have three shots left. Which could be enough. Oh wow, okay, never mind. That's amazing. So now I can easily, well not easily, but I can get closer to the sectoid yeah, without him shooting at me. And then kill him through the car. Yes, awesome. Wow. Okay, I thought that was going to go horribly wrong. Let's move Zhang up. And we still have one soldier left. <laughs> okay, Blake. Move closer and reload. Not really sure if there's anything else that will drop, but we'll see. Okay, yeah. Seriously, over there? Oh, fuck. But I might be able to... Yeah, okay. He was over here, so... Uh... He's hidden now because he's in full cover behind those tombstones, but if I do this... He becomes visible! Um... Who would be in need of a promotion? Texas, but she won't be able to get a, a shot off. Since we've got 100% with the sniper, I'm not gonna give that a second thought. Thank you, Ruby! And now let's get Zhang to that extraction point now, shall we? We're green to go. Moving out. Let's put her Moving back here. And reload. And and then Zhang, take a wide turn so you don't hit that poison, please. Start moving him up. Okay. Still home free. So let's try to just put him further. I'm gonna keep the sniper in Overwatch just in case anything else drops. And keep everyone over here because I really don't want to take that risk. Anything? No, okay. Then we're home free. Yes! Okay. Whew! That went really smooth. I am alive. Yes, you are. But the life I had is gone now. Funny that my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. Well, usually I would say welcome to the team, Zhang, but... The device and our contact are secure. Awesome. Get back to HQ for debriefing. 11 kills, no losses. And hopefully a few promotions. Great work, Commander.
commander. Okay, I Jessica turned into a heavy. So that's really nice. A 72 aim heavy. Welcome to the team. So, um, I might even change her into a mech soon, but we'll see about that. So, two scientists, two engineers, and 200 credits. Thank you. And we've got we a package touch, from uh, Mr. Zhang. Let's see that we're about to get beam weapons as well, which is also very nice. But uh, I still want to hire more soldiers. So I'm going to put another 30 in that. Um, is there anything I can buy from the officer training school now? Yeah, I do want. I still do want to get wet work. Uh, thank you. So that's a nice improvement. We've got another medal, uh, two medals to uh, assign. So I'm going to award that to uh, Jessica. You'll see why in a second. Well, maybe not now, but uh, I'll do that soon. Uh, that's one. And then we have the Council Medal of Honor. And I need to assign a power to that. So, one aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier deaths, up to a maximum of 10. And I think we're really close to that with no soldier deaths, since we only had one mission where a soldier died. Um, so, I think... Because well, this one is really bad, because you're usually not that far away from your allies, except maybe the snipers. But uh, I'm gonna assign it to this power because this one is permanent once you get 10 missions with no soldier deaths and we're gonna award that one aim and one 10 aim and 10 will to uh, our heavy can, since she can do the, mo the most damage when she's panicking so thank you Yang for your valiant effort she didn't do anything in the last mission but uh, that will not stop us from giving her a nice metal. So let's see what else we can do. I'm Our gonna... suspicions may have been true after all. See what they're not just can. here for abductions. They have something else in mind. So the cybernetics lab is almost ready as well. Um, the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. And of course, We're those two engineers. Have more help down here. And that's why beam weapons is now on top, since we had two extra scientists, which bumped the speed of the research up a little which caused it to jump over the satellites. So, I'm gonna check out if we can sell anything. Well, it's not really needed for now, but I have a few things extra if I want to. Um, so yeah, let's start scanning. There we are, beam weapons. So this will give us a nice damage boost on all fronts. So uh, we have laser pistols and laser rifles right now. And now, of course, I mentioned it before, it would be really nice to have precision lasers or heavy lasers, but we're uh, really in need of that experimental warfare because we're gonna be attacked by bigger UFOs soon. Um, we need engineering. Gonna see how much it costs to build a laser rifle. I'm gonna hold off on the pistols. Um, but I am going to make. I wanna make three. I'm gonna have to sell a few things. I need to go to 63 credits. Uh, we've got a lot of Tin Man corpses. So we're gonna. I'm gonna, gonna even put that on eight plenty to have three laser rifles and I might even make a pistol yeah I'm gonna make a pistol there we go uh, we're gonna see in the next mission who we give that to I think it's quite obvious of course um, what else what else I'm gonna scan a bit further so our there's satellite is prepped the satellite. For launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, thank you, Bradford. So two more satellites, and if we go further, we get our satellite uplinks. Satellite uplink complete. 
which allow us to uh, send out more satellites just enough for the ones that we have because we have three left and we now can launch those three so if everything goes well I should be able to give Brazil one South Africa one and Russia one um, or I might even just forfeit South Africa and go for a, a better country well not a better country a country that gives me more funds um, I didn't mean anything bad about South Africa but I'm gonna need to think gameplay wise here so also one day for the cybernetics lab so there we go a very nice cybernetics lab available right now so now we can create max I am doubting whether I want to do that right now already um, the soldiers I might who volunteer for mech trooper augmentation sacrifice much, but they do not leave themselves entirely behind. So I have a been thinking about be making Shang uh, a mech since we well, kind of cut off his ball so he's not a man anymore, but we'll be able that would be cheating, I would and implant our soldiers with the okay. cybernetic interfaces they'll need Thank you, to deploy Shang. these mechs onto the battlefield. Okay. So I am going to take Jessica. Why Jessica? Because we would like a heavy to be a mech. Um, the body shield bonus we get from a heavy is one of the most uh, handy ones you can get because you get a 20 aim reduction to the closest enemy you can see. And it cannot critically hit this unit as well. So um, I think that will be it. I am doubting whether I should level her up a bit more before we do this, um, but I don't think the bonuses will be that amazing. So we'll augment. With Dr. For the so we lose and her for three days, but so when she's back, as as she will be our first mechanical soldier. And there we have our two new soldiers. There's a lot going on right now. So Zhang. I'm gonna pain myself by looking at his skill tree. So he gets low profile immediately. Uh, a shredder rocket. And immunity to critical hits. Um, or sprinter, which is a. Uh, which are both very interesting. I'm gonna take resilience, not that it matters, because I'm gonna throw him away. Yes, it's so painful, but. Because this playthrough only allows female soldiers, I am not going to use Zhang. This is gonna hurt. Goodbye, Zhang. Okay, but we do get two new soldiers, but I think Tadashi is a man. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly check the other one. Is also a man! So, we're still pretty low on soldiers. So we still only have 10, I think, yeah. It's been a while since we had new blood, but okay, nothing to do about that. Um, we get cybernetic augmentation in three days, so then we have the mech. Experimental warfare is four days. Commander, we've got another contact. Crap. Okay, that's why I wanted to have. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake! <sighs> this is annoying, but we're gonna have to deal with it. And I only have one, so this could go very, very wrong. Um, this is the one in uh, in South America, okay. So my decision to only put one raven in South America is gonna bite me in the ass here, I think. Or we might get really lucky, but I don't think so. Engaging bogey. I'm gonna keep my fingers on the abort button. Although we do get a few hits. That's two hits. I'm gonna take the risk. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was fucking lucky. So, the interceptor is almost down, so one sh shot would have killed it. And we would have lost the UFO in 1.7 seconds 
so we wouldn't have any more time to get another shot off. So, well done, Interceptor Pilot! So, we have another UFO crash site, a medium one right now, so that means more enemies. Uh, a bigger battlefield as well, so we're gonna send the Sky Ranger. We don't have our mech yet, so that's a bit sad, but um, still wanna get a promotion for Texas. Uh, we won't need the map kit because I don't think there will be. Well, there could be Tin Man. Uh, I might keep it, okay. Uh, I'm gonna change to laser rifles for everyone that can. There we go. Laser rifles. Uh, and wise as well, laser rifle, and then give the laser pistol we created to Ruby, just in case she needs to, uh, increases the damage by one, so we might be able to do two or three damage to an enemy that's coming too close. So, we're kind of back to the old team, I'm not gonna take a rookie, although I should. Um, I'm gonna wait till the team is fully leveled up before we do that. Although well, one rookie could come in handy. But no, no. We're gonna have to do it this way. So thank you guys enormously for watching and for all the support. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!